There's a little tote out here. And I think I'll have to murder him, because I don't really... What are you doing to your buddy? What the? That's like... Cannibalism? With robots? Did you all just see that? Alright everybody, hello and welcome back to another episode on Scrap Mechanic. And as you can see, I've been rather busy. I've, I've kind of found myself a few new trophies. Um, I, I was exploring some POIs and, you know, just encountered a few Haybots. And as I love them this much, I just decided to keep those things as my trophies. I really just stuck them on there, you know, to transport them back. Now I think it looks kind of cool, but uh, they do block off my chests, unfortunately. So I don't think I will be able to keep them overall. But with that said, I also spent some time mining. You can see I'm not even done refining just yet, so let me just go and move the like second or third one of these cages over to the refiner again as well and we will put this one back on here to kind of keep things tidy in there but with that said as you can see right here I've got 14 component kids with me which is good news which should hopefully help us with our truck in terms of actually finally driving it also, not quite sure do I have any more right here. I apparently don't. I do also have the random assortment of circuit balls, as usual, that, as you can see right here, I basically never use. So, yeah, it is what it is. We will have a quick look into here. See that we have 130 of these metal blocks thus far. I haven't actually made them into tier 2 metal just yet, so I will actually go and take care of that real quick when I can remember what all I do need for that. So let's get that queued real quick. And then, first things first, let's go out to the truck and let's finally, finally actually use some of those component kits. Now I know I kind of need some for these axles, but that would be eight of my 14 already, so I don't really like that too much. I think we are going to prioritize the actual engine. And as you can see right there, a little tote out here and I think I'll have to murder him because I don't really what are you doing to your buddy what the that's like cannibalism with robots did you all just see that he kicked his buddy's head around what what is even happening that's so mean though wow Crazy, okay, I thought that was another one, but that's just our production running. But yeah, so, let's for a start today actually go and look at the engine, which I totally still can't access, so I'll have to remove two blocks right here. And let's go and upgrade it. I did not quite see, I think that was plus two bearings. We'll do another upgrade, because we do need the power... And we maybe even need all-wheel drive, we'll see about the latter later on, but this... Should give us a good bunch of efficiency, should give us a good bunch of power. Still not good enough. I, I will have to max it eventually, but it is at least a start, and we did at least finally, finally push some component kits into there. Now, we've got another four left. Maybe we're going to put those into these axles later on. You know, one for each axle. Could be an idea, you know, once things start getting heavier on the rear axle too. Like, we, we will definitely have to upgrade them, so we may as well do that, that now while we actually have the component kits, but let's check this out now. No, this does of course not work. We will, first things first, need to actually connect the engine to more of these wheels. Kind of going to try the back four for the time being. I think I think I'll need all axles, so yeah, look at that. Can you, can you see the wheels? Oh my god, the wheel spin is crazy. I mean, maybe that's also just because we don't really have much weight on the rear axles. But I feel it makes sense to just connect them all. We've already set it up this way. We have the ability to do it. So, yeah. Why not, I guess. Let's check that out. Oh, we need re... Yeah. We need weight on the rear axle. I think... Maybe we just even start... Oh, boy. I, I need to stop this. Because I'm skidding forwards and I can't drive backwards right now. And also... I'm stuck again. Yay. But yeah, so let's let's take this with us again. I I feel we may even just be doing some work on the rear axle today just to even try and get some weight on them cuz like I feel I feel we really kind of need it. That said, 
what is wrong right here? Oh yeah, okay, so this needs to be one further up, of course. We will have to kind of find out how we want to do this hinge mechanism, though, that I was talking about. Also, we have this little issue with this thing being too wide, and I've totally not fixed it yet. So, that's still on my list. I will do it, but I won't do it now. We can make it a bit wider right now. It'll just be looking a bit weird, and then I'll fix it after the fact. I think that should be fine. But with that said, let me go and make more tier 2 metal, and then we will get right back to building. We've got so many building episodes at the moment, it's absolutely crazy, but I do really enjoy it, I have to say. It's, it's pretty pretty fun for a change. I hope you all are enjoying yourselves too. We do seem to have run out of metal again, but well, if if this episode goes anywhere close to the standards of the last one, that should not keep me from being busy all episode. Let's see about that. But with that said, now if you all remember last time around, we tried this hinge mechanism out here and it didn't really quite work the way that I wanted it to, just because, well, you can only really tilt this by a minimum of 15 degrees, which means that, like, at this point, the whole tilted loading surface will already smash into the chassis. So, that is not an option, unfortunately. So, we will go and delete that for the time being. Kind of trying to keep, though, the idea of what we were overall going for. I can also just sink this into the ground, because, honestly, why not? Makes things a bit easier for me for the time being. This can all be detached, it's totally fine. Um, that That is actually part of the chassis. But yeah, so, what we will be doing instead, we will be removing all this, and we will just go out and make, like, a standard... Wait, I'm confused. Is this actually... Um... Ah, right, yeah, no, okay, so this, this thing, uh, the kind of border was already sort of purpose-built, so that's kind of where we want to go, and this wheel is sunken in a bit, albeit I have to say I don't even think it looks too bad. Maybe we'll actually just keep things that way. Let's see about that. Let's see when it's done, maybe we'll just keep wheels sunken in a bit. Could be good to kind of protect them against damage from haybots, of course, but, well, other than that... Let's see, let's see. So, we wanted to make the loading surface too above the actual frame, didn't we? So, we want to have the loading surface basically right here. Yeah? Is that the idea? Kind of was. Which is interesting. But yeah, let me just double check that. Yeah. Very much feels like it. That was the actual idea. Okay. So we will just start kind of pulling out the loading surface whereabouts right there. And then we will, of course, have, you know, a bit of a barrier. So this is kind of where the loading surface is intended to end, if that makes sense. So, this being the actual platform, that being the border. Now, what I would like to do is just actually pull it out all the way to the rear so we could actually make this thing somewhat drivable. With that said, though, that requires some thinking of where I actually want to place the hinge mechanism at. So, not 100% sure yet on that part, and also not 100% sure on how much I want to space it out. So, we will have to find out all these things as we go. I think it will be a bit of trial and error, honestly, because we will need to see where we can somewhat still place this mechanism without sinking the loading surface into the actual frame itself, if that makes sense. Now, I don't really need this thing here anymore. Except for, I actually need this part of the back, so I know where I was intending this thing to end. So we will just replicate this one higher up. And I'll remove all the rest of this, because this will not actually stay around. It's more of a mock-up for me to actually see the whereabouts of where the loading surface should be in the future. And, uh, whoops. That's fine. 
that's all fine and good. We've got ourselves a bit more metal that way. And that's what I was saying, right? This is going to keep me busy for a while, even though I don't even have that much metal, because it's a lot of picking things apart and putting them back together again. But with that said, this thing is still not high up enough, because this is going to be the actual intended constraints. So let's just do that. Perfect. And that is now going to be the same height as the rest of the loading surface. This still being the boundary here may actually end up making that a bit higher at the very end, or maybe I'll even leave some spaces in there and just do it as kind of a frame to keep things from skidding, but also not make this too heavy. We'll see about that. But for the time being, the idea is here to put this on there. We have our controller, which is this one, I think, right? No, that one, actually. Um, let me get rid of that one again. This is our controller for the loading surface, because of course it's attached to that button to go and control this. I'm just going to check real quick, excuse me, thank you, if this thing here... No, okay, so this is not set up anymore. We're going to set it to 15 degrees, going to keep it there, because that's of course the minimum. Just going to have to see if that's actually going to be the right direction or not. But I will then kind of just prolong this a bit and we will see if this actually will end up sinking into the loading surface or not. Because right here we've of course got the wheel so there shouldn't be anything interfering with that at the moment. And it should just be a nice indication of is this too far back, too far up front. So we can hopefully get the max out of it and that's working good so far. That's working real good so far. I'm totally not happy with that. What is going on? Did I connect this up somewhere? No. Is it on the actual bearing? Did I somehow not put it on the bearing? So this is definitely on the bearing now. That's definitely plunked together. Is it, um, okay, weird, let's just do the other direction I suppose, why is this not moving, oh is it because it's on the lift, I think it is right, nah, annoying, oh, what, what just happened there, we lost a metal, what? We lost a metal block to the floor. Uh, interesting, to say the very least. Let's fix that. I'm going to have to get this thing off the lift, I think, and then it should work. Oh my god, that topple, though. Oh, we need to get more weight to the back. I don't want to have this thing topple over. Okay, now it's working, now it's turning. Now we need to actually inverse it again, because the initial direction was apparently the correct one. So let's do that. Whoops. Um, God. See, that's why I like to sink this thing into the ground, because it's really hard to work on, because it's so far up. But okay, so this seems to be a bit far up front still. I think you kind of get the idea, slowly but surely, right? So we'll have like a loading surface that goes all the way out there, and then eventually I'll just have this thing go down like 15 degrees. I'll have a wall at the back that'll t go down as well, and that'll kind of be the ramp at the very end to get our vehicles up on. But with that said, I think this is, yeah, this is definitely still a bit far back, because if we uh, try, can you, this this thing is like in the worst spot possible. Bye. But if we try right here, to kind of, wait, let me do this. I need to line my site up here. Yeah, this is already into the frame. So if we want one, two, three, we need to at least have it three further back, which I think should be fine because we can end off the frame right here actually and just have the loading surface go a bit over the actual frame. So maybe we don't even need to move it too much further back. I think if we need, if we move it two spots further back, that should be fine because the frame is, yeah, it's basically going to end right here, right? So we don't need to worry about anything further than that. Okay, so we're going to go too further back. That's the idea right here. Let me try and go up here without falling down. 
we will go one, two, bearing, and then that should be that. We will, of course, need to power that eventually. That's a bit of an issue. Um, should we just... Hello? I'm too far away. Let's try and not fall down. Boop. <laughs> oh my god, that snap. Wow. Uh, that's a very interesting game mechanic. I'm pretty sure that's probably not intended to work like that. But okay. Um, we will need to have a bit of a gap right here for the... Or will we? I mean, yeah, it's probably better to have a little bit of a gap right there for things to not glitch into each other. Then we will, of course, remove these three pieces right here so nothing sticks together. That'll kind of be how far we want to go out with the loading surface. And this will basically be the border, right? We will have to have another door out here with a hinge and then going to have to be able to fold that down somehow. So let's see about that mechanism. That needs to get added on as well. But we want to kind of have the loading surface mechanism in itself be a thing first. So this thing is still not on the lift, so everything should be fine and working once I click this button. Is it because I've got my lift out there? No. Why is it not working now? Oh my god. Oh, it reset. Cool. So apparently it resets whenever you delete the connection. That's good to know. There we go, though. It's tilting downwards. Let me uh, try and move out of here. Let me have a little lift that I put like right, well, actually right here pretty much, right? So we can check this is not interfering with the frame. Absolutely glorious. I'm happy, you're happy, everyone's happy. I think that should be pretty good. Now I just of course need to somehow ooh, extend this thing outwards to make it work. I kind of like that you can see this suspension to be honest. I'm considering to not cover it up. I think it's somewhat cool, somehow. There goes my phone. Great news right there. Really sorry for that. As usual, I think you all got used to it by now. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're going to get this thing back up. And I will have to extend this outwards. First things first, I'll do it right here, I think. Just to... Hello? I kept my mouse button pressed. Apparently the game doesn't like it anyways. But we will pull it out to a match this. Yep, perfect. Then we can actually remove this whole construction right here. Which is great news. Because it looks weird. We don't want it anyways, so... Whoa! What a bounce. Quite the bounce from metal. But okay, so... There we go. That's going to be the end of the frame, pretty much. We need to have some sort of rearwards design too, though. Like some bumper or something. Maybe you can place that right there. Let's see how this... I, I hope this just doesn't interfere or anything. But for the time being... I'm out of metal. Am I? Feels like I'm out of metal. Yeah. Kinda. Look at that. Wow. Okay, we should still have a bit of metal up there. Which is something that we can at least use to put on there. But yeah. I told you. We need a ton of materials. Like, I, I wasn't joking. It's crazy. Let me actually... I need to take these things off, to be honest. Let me just do that real quick. Because these are... As, as cool as it looks, they are unfortunately somewhat in the way of the, cru uh, of the chest. So I cannot leave them there. So let me just put those into one of our collectors. Then I can at least get them refined, and that means more scrap metal, that means more tier 1 metal, and that should hopefully mean a few more blocks of tier 2 metal that I can push into our construction this very episode. This thing here is done, so let's pick that up. We're going to bring the other one up. Come on. Blonk, and those things are going to get refined, and this is going to go back on our miner, which, speaking of miner, Honestly, I think we need a better one as well. It's getting really, really annoying and taking me a long time actually getting all this metal together. So, may actually be one of our next projects alongside actually a woodcutter. But wood is honestly not too bad at the moment. I think wood will actually get bad when I want to build my own base. Because if and when I build my own base, I really feel like making it out of wood. I, I think it just, just for the looks, you know, not for like usability or something. But in terms of looks, I would really, really love to do that. But with that said, 
Let's go and extend this thing out here a bit. I don't really want to have it go up any further just yet, because I need weight on the rear axle rather than the front axle. So we'll just do this for the time being. And yeah, nice. Okay, we will be able to extend this thing out a bit. And uh, that's it. Wow. Okay, there goes all the metal. But now, if we press the button, this should still work flawlessly, I hope, without glitching into anything. Yeah. Nice. Now we're still missing a rear bumper that I somehow need to design without interfering with this. Which could prove pretty hard, thinking about it. Could actually prove pretty hard. Also Fender? Anyone? Hmm. We'll have to see about that. We'll have to see. Maybe maybe, maybe we just don't have any fenders and spit all the dirt at everybody driving behind us. But yeah, I think the design still makes sense. Like, we need some ramp to drive vehicles up on. And also some kind of possibility to load crates onto vehicles, because this thing is pretty darn high up. So, we need to make that work somehow. And I think that is the best way, as many design challenges as it probably will throw at it. Uh, throw out at us rather. I think that is probably the best way to do things. Now with that said, does this thing drive any better now? Uh, you know, I can at least reverse. But the wheels are still sliding all over the place. We will definitely need more weight on the back. But it's a start, you know. It's, it's drivable somewhat. Albeit not too well. But you know, if I just slightly tap it. We can make it work without spinning the wheels. And I'm sure we could find some middle ground in terms of power to actually move this thing. But as we don't really want to move it yet anyways... Oh, whoops. I just want to duck. Thank you. Oh, I forget I could duck. There's actually no reason with me being worried about being stuck. I can just duck. Ha. Huh. <laughs> okay. But yeah. So, you know. I... I think, you know, we're not willing to drive this thing yet anyway, so we'll just get actually more weight on the rear axles, and at that point, should be pretty fine. Now, for the ramp mechanism, we kind of need more component kits in that thing too, but I do really feel like stiffening up the back suspension a bit, so we'll put our last two component kits in that. You can also see they did compress slightly here. They are uncompressing through those upgrades, so... Maybe that'll even do something for the driving properties. I don't think so myself yet. Honestly, we'll try again. But I feel it's more like us actually needing weight there. Yeah, you can see. I mean, it's still pretty slidey. So yeah, more weight necessary. But going the right way right there. And uh, we'll have more scrap metal now. So I should be able to put a bit more metal into our actual build. So let's just get that ready real quick. And uh, I'll be right back with you when that's actually done. Alright, back I am. And as you can see, we've got another 50 blocks from that, actually. So not even half bad. I am going to go and work that into the back loading surface now, I think. Like, now is really less the time of designing, but more actually punching materials into this thing and making it grow as quickly as possible, I hope. Also going to, of course, need some more component kits, but now... I think mainly it's gonna actually, I'll just have to put some mats into this, you know, build out the structure of this, because, you know, we have the undercarriage, we have the frame, we need to design a bit around it, yeah, sure, but mostly I need my loading surface, I need the mechanisms, and I need them to work, and yeah, I, I need it to be drivable, and then all the design part comes after it, maybe some doors. You know, but once it's drivable, that's a good start. That means we can start using it. And then hopefully also subsequently soon-ish sometime use it to move. So yeah, that's the idea right there. One last try with a bit more weight on the rear axles. It seems less slidey, I have to say. You can see it is still pretty slidey. But the more weight I put on those axles, the less slidey it gets. And, I mean, as you can see, like, the front axle, for example, right, the wheel is turning just fine without any issues due to all the weight that we have going there already. So, I'm very, very positive that the same will happen with the rearward 
axles. But with that said, and you know, our first bit of a loading mechanism finally going, if we just click the button again here to make it work just nicely, well, I'll end it off right here. So I hope you all very much enjoyed this episode. As always, if you did, please make sure to hit that like button down below. That helps out the channel a ton. And let me know what you think of this uh, huge, huge truck thus far down below in the comments. I'm really looking forward to that. If you're new around the channel, haven't done so just yet, uh, definitely make sure... Oh, as I, as I see a bit of an issue here. Uh, definitely make sure to try not do what I just did, you know, to, uh, to you know keep your vehicle intact <laughs> and um well make sure to hit that subscribe button right down below as well as the bell icon right next to it to stay up to date on all the future upcoming episodes and with that all said as always everyone thanks a lot for watching and i hope i'll catch you in the next one ciao